we want to look at a question uh, to do with remainder concept. In this question, you see a keyword, remainder. That actually gives us a strong reason to use the plunging method. It says here, Jacob spent two seventh of his allowance. So we begin with allowance and two seventh will go into buying books. And after buying books, there'll be five seventh remainder. This is the amount of allowance left. But out of the remainder, some money will be spent on stationery. So the fraction is three fifth, three fifth of the remainder. Then the rest of the allowance will be saved. And that will be two fifth. In the last sentence, you can see that he spent $12 more on the stationery than on the books. So I will have to work out the amount or fraction of the allowance that's used to buy stationery. So I have three fifth multiplied to five seventh. That will be three seventh. Three units of the allowance spent on stationery and two units spent on books. The difference is one unit. So this one unit represents $12. The question asks, how much did Jacob save? So we will have to find out the fraction of allowance that is saved. So I'll take 2 fifth, multiply to 5 seventh, that is 2 seventh. So we need two units, and that gives 2 times $12, $24. So we say Jacob saved. 